user access policies can be used to automate permissions when users are created or edited. Turn this feature on and toggle user access policies to on and ensure an advanced interface for user access policies is also enabled. Now that that's done, I want to create a user access policy for my customer service team. Going to navigate to user access policies. And then from here, I'm going to press new user access policy to create one for my customer service team. I'm going to press save and start to configure. You'll note that the default status is in design, which means it's not currently active. Edit the criteria here so that this user access policy applies when the profile equals custom support profile. Additionally, I only want to target users where active equals true. Now I can define actions to apply. I want to grant them the permission set for is single sign-on user, which will restrict them from logging in with anything but a SSO username and password. I also want to grant access to the permission set group for customer service team, which will give them the necessary permissions to perform their role. They also am going to grant them access to the permission set license for service cloud. To finish things up, I'm going to grant them access to the group for customer service team. And I'm also going to grant them access to the queue for customer service team as well, so they can receive their cases. You'll note from here, you can also grant package licenses, and you can also choose to revoke permissions automatically. Now that I'm happy with my criteria and actions, I'm gonna save my user access policy. I am now going to choose to automate the policy so that it's run when a user is created. I'm going to activate this and my policy status will now change to active. I'm going to create a user that matches this criteria. And I'm going to make sure to choose the custom support profile and then press save. Now that my page has been refreshed, you'll see that the user has been successfully assigned the permission set, permission set group, permission set license, public group, and queue so that this process is now automated.